Representative Mo Brooks accidentally tweeted out his email and personal password in a thread complaining about, and this is ironic, somebody breaking into his home. Uh, oops. So let me give you some background because nobody broke into Mo Brooks' home, for one. Um, Mo Brooks has been hiding from a lawsuit. He has been hiding from a from a service summons, okay, uh, launched by Representative Eric Swalwell over his involvement in the January 6th Capitol riot. Swalwell has been trying to serve uh, Brooks for, for over a month, okay, and had to go as far as hiring a private investigator to track him down so he can actually serve the papers. So uh, finally, after weeks of running and hiding in the bunkers or, or where, wherever he was hiding, really, uh, Brooks was served. Uh, not himself, by the way, but through his wife. So finally, they're like, okay, look, we, we're not going to be able to find Mo Brooks. Mo Brooks is hiding. Uh, all right, so I guess we're just going to have to serve your wife. So now as a result, Mo Brooks is, well, he's mad. Mo, Mo mad? I don't know. Uh, anyway, he claims that the process server violated the law. Bro broke the law. Broke the law. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. That, that person illegally came into my house. In fact, here's what he said. Well, Swalwell finally did his job. Serve complaint on my wife. Horrible. Swalwell's team committed a crime by unlawfully sneaking into my house and accosting my wife. Out of Alec Code 13A7-2. First degree criminal trespass. Year in jail. $6,000 uh, $6, fine. More to come. I got three words. Baby. Beta. Bitch. Seriously. Wow. Uh, for one, who, who, okay, how did he sneak into your home? I mean, look, nothing was stolen. Nobody was hurt. And he was there to serve a legal process. No. Okay. Uh, he is there to serve you papers for a reason. So I don't know what happened. Did he knock on the door? And when his wife went into the door, did she like try to slam it on him? Or accidentally slam his foot in the door? Did he try to stick his uh, foot in the door in order to try to serve the papers? What what happened? What happened? I don't know. But man, you can tell he's scared. Real scared. For one, here's the thing. Okay, so Mo Brooks, and I, and I broke this down in another segment. Mo Brooks is campaigning on January 6th. He, he's not campaigning like, oh, I was protecting democracy. Well, I mean, he kind of is, but by being on the side of the the the, the rioters, essentially, okay? And, and in, you know, basically trying to um, promote the big lie. You know, oh, no, the, 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 they were there. Uh, first of all, it wasn't us. It was the Antifa super soldiers um, that were actually the ones that invaded the Capitol. But we were the one out there trying to, you know, uh, go, we were trying to stop the steal, essentially. We're stop the steal, stop the steal. Uh, and so we're out there and we were, we were fighting back against uh, the, the, the fake, the fake news media and, and, and the deep state and the globalists and all that. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're trying to defend the real president in the United States. Okay. And so, yes, he's doing that. He's running ads on that. Uh, he was also a speaker at the January 6th rally. Uh, his rhetoric did help incite the crowd, along with Rudy Giuliani, Donald Trump, uh, and yeah, the others that are, that are actually uh, involved in this uh, lawsuit from Eric Swalwell. And he, he basically, the point is, is that he's proud of being part of this. Now, <clears throat> he's also doing those ads because he wants his cake, you know, to have his cake and eat it too. He knows that you can only exist in the current Republican Party by being a Trump bootlegger. That's, that's essentially what it is. He wants to stay in power. He loves Donald Trump's rhetoric. He loves Donald Trump's actions and also doesn't want to face the consequences of his own actions for, you know, inciting this, this crowd. And so he knows that it's wrong. That's why he's running like a baby bitch, but also is now trying to, because it's basically a last desperate attempt to try to make Swalwell out to be a villain. 
But it gets even better because Mo Brooks. So Mo Brooks decided that he would take a picture of his computer screen. Not not a, not a desktop image, right? Not a not a screenshot of his desktop, but literally took his phone and took a photo uh, of his of his screen of his monitor. In the corner of his monitor had his Gmail password and his pin. Oops. Oops. I, again, they're they're not sending their best. They know nothing about computers, nothing about cyber. Uh, and the real irony here is, Mo Brooks is on the Science, Space, and Technology Committee and is a member of the Subcommittee on Space. And get this, this is even better. He is also the member, he, uh, a member of the Congressional Cybersecurity Caucus. Cyber, very difficult. <laughs> Dear God, we're fucked. We are so fucked. I mean, if anything demonstrates how not meritocratic the United States is, we have a congressman who screenshots his own passwords and posts them up on the internet, serving on two very important technology-based committees. The man is making decisions on cybersecurity while doing this, while knowing absolutely nothing about how to protect your own cybersecurity. I'm surprised. He still, he didn't take it down yet. The tweet, as far as I know, the tweet's still up. And I, I checked like a couple hours ago. And, and it's not like he didn't notice because it was trending all over Twitter. But I guess you actually have to know how that works. You know, the cyber. <sighs> They're not sending their best. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.